I've lived in Russia for 17 years, I'm gonna reveal 5 things about Vladimir Putin that nobody knew before. Number 1. Putin has a daughter that the world doesn't know about. Her name is Maria Vorontsova. She's a doctor and uh, a billionaire in rubles and millionaire in dollars. Let's figure it out. A doctor in Russia earns around 250 to 300 dollars per month. That is before taxes. Maria earns around $2,000 per month. That is 8 times the salary of a doctor, but you cannot make a billion that way. So let's dig deeper. Soon, after establishing a company in 2019 that has 6 employees, her company made $8.4 million in 2020, with a net profit of $6 million. Oh, and the $2.4 million expenses were paid to Maria as dividends. And she also has a salary of $10,000 a month in that company. In 2021, her company made $8 million net profit. In 2022, they made $8.5 million profit. There's no clear information on how much money she got paid in dividends in these two years, but based on the previous year, we can assume that she got paid $9.5 million, 500 of which was uh, her salary. And the great question is, who's the sponsor of this company? All that money was paid by Sagas. They got paid for services and information modeling of the project implementation, even though that work is more for IT companies. But anyway, among its owners were Putin friends Yuri Kovalchuk and his nephew Mikhail Shilomov. After the war, the Sagas clinics were handed to Maria Vorontsova's colleagues. Her apartment in Moscow costs $8 million. A regular doctor in Russia would have to work 3,030 years to afford that apartment. She also has a country house worth around $4 million. You can go and watch Alexei Navalny's channel to learn more. Number 2. Vladimir Putin has been a Russian president for 24 years and he has just been elected for 6 more years. That will make him one of the longest serving male presidents ever. You might argue that Dmitry Medvedev was a Russian president in between 2008 and 2012. But do you really believe that? Putin has built an enormous empire under him. That was just a formality because he couldn't be president three years in a row. He first became president from 2000 to 2008. Then Medvedev became president from 2008 to 2012. Then Putin was a president until 2018. Since he couldn't apply to be president again, he just changed the Russian constitution and was able to be elected again. I wonder what he will do next. Number 3. Putin has the biggest bribe in history. More than a billion dollars. Of course, it's just a small fraction of his net worth, but still. This bribe built Putin this beautiful palace. It's absolutely ginormous. 190,000 square feet. There's the palace itself. It's placed on 17,300 acres. There is a hockey center under the ground. A whole building dedicated to the food court. And the funny thing is that the place was finished. But because of bad construction, it had high humidity and mold then the palace had to be rebuilt, which of course didn't make Putin happy. Inside you can find anything, literally anything. Huge pools, massage rooms, cosmetology office, spa rooms, saunas, hammams, font, aqua disco, strip clubs, and so on. I can go on forever, but you can watch the full video on Alexei Navalny's channel. This brings us to point number four. Putin killed Alexei Navalny and other politicians that stood in his way. A few years back, you might have heard that Alexei Navalny was poisoned by Novichok and was sent to Germany, otherwise he wouldn't survive. Six months after that, he came back to Russia and was sent to prison. In prison, they bullied him, didn't let him sleep, sent him to punishment cell over 300 times in three years. And Navalny team almost had Navalny free. Putin heard about it and in a few days, Navalny was found dead. Tens of thousands of Russian people came to his funeral. The same happened to a lot of people that went against Putin. They all experienced hell. Number 5. Putin is the richest man in the world. Even Elon Musk confirmed it. Being at a net worth of 230 billion roughly, being perceived as the richest person on earth. Well, I, th I think crazy. Putin is significantly richer than me. You really do, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I can't go in big countries and stuff. I, I believe... <laughs> I mean, there's like some old quote that from, was it, you're not really rich unless you can afford a legion. I just find it to be absurd that one of the richest country because of the natural resources is one of the poorest country. And inside this country, there is the richest man in the world who also happens to be president of this country. 